Hello everyone, welcome to CodeSpot. This is Sabana and in today's video, we will quickly look at scope in JavaScript. Let's get started. First, let's see what scope is. To demonstrate what scope is, I'm going to show you an example. I'm just declaring a variable message and I'm trying to lock that out. The output is simple here, but if I enclose the same message inside an if block, it throws us a reference error. Why? Because it is the, the if block creates a scope for this variable message out within which it is accessible, but outside it is not accessible. Now, this is, this is what scope is. Scope tells you the accessibility of variable. It tells you where you can access the variable and where you cannot. Now let's look at different types of scope. First, we'll look at global scope. Variable declared outside any function becomes global scope. They can be accessed and modified anywhere in the function, by any function. In browser environment, the global scope variables are controlled by window object, but in Node.js, it is controlled by global object. We will look more about global object in the further videos. To demonstrate what global scope is, let's look at this example. Here, the username is the global scope, is a global variable. It can be accessible inside this function, inside show username function, and also outside. Now let's look at block scope. Block scope is the area within if condition, switch condition, for loop, while loop, etc. Basically, anywhere where you see the curly braces, it is a block. The const and let keywords allow users to create block scoped variables, within, which means they are accessible within the block, but outside it is not accessible. Let's look at this example. I have three variables declared using war, const, and let. The variable declared using war is accessible, but the other two are not accessible. They throw the reference error. This is because const and let are block scoped, but variables declared using war are not block scoped. They are function scoped. Let's look at function scope. Function scope is created every time you create a function. It can be nested as well. Not a variable declared using war, const, or let inside a function cannot be accessed outside the function. Any variable declared using war outside the function or global scope. Now let's look at a very important concept in JavaScript called lexical scope. Lexical scope mean lexical scope means in, in a nested function, the inner function will have the access to variables in the outer function. So this means the child function or lexically bound to the parent function. So let's see, look at an example here. Parent function is the innermost function, parent is the outer function, and grandfather is the outermost function. The parent function can access the variable in the grandfather function, and the child function can access both grandfather and the parent function variables. But the reverse is not possible. So basically in lexical scope, the child function has the ability to access a variable in a parent function. Now, to summarize, scope tells you the availability of variable. Global variables can be accessed and modified from any function. Let and const are block scoped, whereas war are function scoped. Lexical scope has the ability for a function to access the variables from its parent scope. Um, with that, I end this video. Thumbs up. Give this video a thumbs up if you did like it. Share your feedbacks and questions in the comment section down below. I'll be happy to answer them. And subscribe to CodeSpot for more such videos. Thanks for watching.